We ain't too interested in your good old Mississippi boy stories, Anderson. You ain't from here no more. Why'd you leave anyway? I just wanted to change the scenery. You know, uh, the grits started leaving a bad taste in my mouth. Well, if that's how you feel about it, Mr. FBI man, why don't you drink up that beer and get the hell on out of here and back to your commie nigger-loving bosses up north? <laughs> you must not know my boss, Mr. Hoover. Uh, he's not too fond of commies. <laughs> He'd be on your side there. I don't give two shits whose side your Mr. Hoover's on, boy. All I know is we got 5,000 niggers in this county who ain't registered a boat yet. And as far as I'm concerned, they never will. So you can tell your stiff suits up there in Washington, D.C. that they ain't going to change us one bit. Unless it's over my dead body. Or a lot of dead niggers. <laughs> You'd kill Frank? Is that what you're saying? I wouldn't give it no more thought than wringing a cat's neck. And there ain't a court in Mississippi that'd convict me for it. How about you, deputy? How are you with ringing necks, huh? Just keep pushing me over, boy. Get this straight, you corn old fucker. You tell your queer-ass nigger bosses up north they ain't never gonna find them civil rights down here. So you might as well pack up your bags and head your ass on back up north where you belong. Boy, go! Oh! Oh! And you get this straight, shit kicker. Don't you go mistaking me for some whole other body. You've got your brains in your dick if you think we're just gonna fade away. We're gonna be here till this thing's finished. How about you, deputy? Is that gun just for show? Or do you get to shoot people once in a while? God, God, oh.